Hi there, I'm Kirk Gartner, and today we're going to take a look at doing some physics simulation in Physics Now version 2 and bringing that into Element 3D. Um, I recently just did uh, a trailer for the new Fall Guys Season 2, and I used ex uh, the Physics Now plugin extensively for all the simulated text for the title cars that are in here. Um, there's one there, there's another one that comes in here. And I found this plugin just super fun to play with and really, really awesome to use. And when I was able to hook it into Element 3D, it just was able to fit in with the rest of the stuff in the trailer. So uh, we're gonna take a quick look at how I did that here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is just create some text layers. And so I'm going to say new, and this is gigantic. So let's make that a little bit smaller here. <laughs> Go new and we'll make another one. We'll say remixed. And the last one we'll do, we'll say levels like that. Okay, so let's rearrange these in a way that looks kind of nice. And so I'm just gonna scale this guy down a bit, bring this guy here, something like that. And we'll make this guy a little bit smaller too. So they'll kind of come down and smash on top of each other like this. So I'm just, just because I'm OCD, I'm going to <laughs> reposition the anchor points to the lower center. It doesn't really make a difference. But I'm liking the way this is looking. That, that should be kind of nice. And so what we're going to do is we are going to bring up the Physics Now extension. And I am just going to let it sit here at the bottom of this window here. So first thing we need to do is select all of our text layers. And we are going to turn these all into physical objects. And I'm going to click on this button here. And then it's going to put a whole bunch of effects. And it's going to give us this world control. So if I just go back and hit play here, it's going to simulate what's going on here, which is going to take every single letter in each of these words turn them into individual things and then just simulate them and they're all probably just going to fall down and this is gonna take a little while for it to calculate. Yeah, that's not at all what we want. So I'm going to kill that simulation here and let's set some options. So first thing I wanna do is go into the text here and it is set to break type as characters. I just want these all to be individual words so everything kind of sticks together as one big block. So let's do that to all three of these guys here words, words, words. And then we need something for these uh, words to bounce off of, otherwise they're just gonna fall down to their death again, just like they did last time, which isn't what we want. So you can control that in here. In the physics uh, world uh, control layer, you can just set the bottom bounds of the comp in order to be the uh, sort of the, uh, I guess the ground plane here. So let's hit simulate on that. And now let's see what happens. Um, it's probably not going to be that exciting because they're not falling very far, but it is different than what we had before. Poof, they're just kind of sitting there. So in order to make this more exciting, what we're going to do is we are going to move these up. So I am going to zoom out of my comp a little bit, move this guy up, move this guy up, move this guy up. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stagger these in a tiny little bit. So levels is at the bottom. So actually, let me just rearrange the order of these so they're in the same kind of stack. So we want levels to come in first. And then let's say four frames later, we want remix to start. And then four frames later, we want uh, new to kind of pop in. So let's see what that does when we hit simulate. Just thinking about it. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. That looks all right. Um, so one thing when I was doing all these title cards, what I kind of changed is the physics, I can't remember exactly what it's called here. <laughs> Let me bring it up. It is the time scale. I kind of felt like the time scale, uh, 100% was a little bit slow. So I'm going to bring that up to 150 and that'll just kind of make things go a little bit faster. Uh, so let's see what happens when I do that now. Hit play. Oh, that looks a lot nicer. There's got some more cool stuff happening here. So the other thing that's happening on this sim is everything is kind of like those words are bouncing straight up and down. And then when that W hits, we're finally getting a little bit of angled action and it's a little bit more randomness happening here. But I'm going to actually just reposition this text a little bit and give it some rotation. So let's take this word levels and let's just rotate that to the right a little bit. Let's take remixed. Here we can't see it because we're not there yet. So remixed, let's rotate it back this way. And new, let's just give it a little bit of an angle going that way here. And I'm just gonna move these guys up a little bit. I'm gonna move this new up even higher. Let's see what happens when we hit do that. So let's hit play. Let's go, I hit forget, there we go. Sometimes you have to hit it twice. There we go. And now it's doing its thing. 
Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, there we go. That's looking pretty cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> so that looks pretty neat, but let's see what else we can do here. Um, so levels hits, it kind of bounces, remix hits, and then new kind of smashes it and they kind of bounce together. So each layer itself kind of has all these different properties associated with it. You can go into the geometry, you can change whether it's the simulation is a little bit more high res. Um, the bounce is one of the ones that I was playing with a bit here. So if we go into the bounce and let's just take levels and make it, uh, let's just double it just to see what happens. It's probably gonna be a bit crazy. Boring, oh yeah, see, just changing. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit nuts. That's a bit overkill. So what's happening here? It's going down, boom, and that's getting hit, and this is getting knocked around like nuts. All right, so that's a bit too much. So doubling it is obviously not what we want to do. So it was 0.5 to begin with. Let's try 0.6, and let's see if that gives it a little bit more life. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Boom. And it kind of bounces and goes into space there. So here... That looks great, I love it. Okay, let's use that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna call this element. Boom, and let's put element 3D on here, like so. So the first thing yeah, you have to do if you've ever used element 3D before is you have to basically tell it um, uh, you have to give it the layers to extrude. Now, unfortunately, you can't use these shape layers that physics now creates. So we have to use the individual uh, um, text layers that we used to start with. But unfortunately, those don't move. They just are stuck here. They don't have any simulation on it. So I'll show you how we get around that in a second. So first thing we need to do, let's go into custom layers and masks. Um, we'll make one, we'll make that new. We'll make path layer two, remixed, and we'll make path layer three, the word levels. So now we're gonna go into element and we're going to hit extrude and we're gonna get our word new here. And it looks kind of boring and I'm just going to apply one of my pre uh, presets uh, bevels that I've got here. So it kind of looks kind of neat and nice and fluffy. Uh, one thing I need to just quickly change here because this, uh, not in here, where is it? My alignment, it needs to be model center. So it's centered right on the world coordinates there. So I'm gonna do that. This is going to be new. So it isn't gonna be in group one. Um, this isn't going to be a full Element 3D tutorial here, uh, but this is basically what you do. You take this, go into Path 2. I'm going to change this to um, the second group, and I'm going to apply that same uh, bevel to it, but I also have to fix this so it's in the model center. And then I'm going to go 3. Yeah, let's move these so they're kind of in the same place here. Remixed, and this one is going to be custom path three, which would be levels. And then I'm gonna apply that bevel to it and I'm just going to recenter it into the middle. I should really fix that bevel preset because I end up doing that almost every time. <laughs> so let's remember to put this on group three. So now they, we have each one in its own group and now they're all just sitting on top of each other. And if we isolate that, they are not doing anything because we need to attach them to each other. So let's start with group three first. So we'll go into here. I'm just gonna disable group one, disable group two and we're gonna have group three sitting here. So we want to see what the word levels is doing behind here, like that. Okay, so it's not doing any of that. So we have to fix that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit you on our simulated layer here and we need its position and its rotation. And what I'm gonna do here is on group three, cause that's the one that's active right now, I am going to hold down option and click on that. And I'm going to take our little pick whip and I'm going to connect it to the position of that layer. So once I do that, it should start moving. Boom, look at that. We got some action. So all we've done so far is hooked up the position. The next thing we need to do is hook up the rotation and the rotation will be the rotation Z. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to take that and connect it to the rotation here. Boom, so now it should be moving and rotating. But you might notice it looks a little funny. It's angled here and the element layer, but it's not angled here. And that is because it is using the initial position, or sorry, the initial rotation of this uh, text layer here, which is set to 3.9 degrees. So what we actually have to do is we have to counteract that in this. So I'm just gonna go minus 3.9 degrees, and now it's nice and straight. Look at that, boom.
Okay, so the other thing you can see that's happening here is the word levels is kind of off the bottom of the screen. And so the easiest thing to do to fix this is just to move the entire world inside of uh, element here. So if you go into the world transform, I'm just going to take the world transform Y and just kind of bring it up a little bit and I'm just gonna kind of bring it to the right a little bit. So now, we do a preview of that, look at that. We got it moving, boom, just like that. So now, really, all we have to do is just do this to the other two words. So if I go into group two, which is going to be the word remixed. So here, let's close out group one here, close out group three, go back into here. So I'm going to take the X, Y position, and I'm going to hook this up to, oh, I need to expose that first. <laughs> so here, let me do that again. Uh, and here, let's just hit U, and I'll do the same thing for new as well. So let's give myself a little bit more room to work with here. Take this, close it. I'm just going to move this up here. Clean up your workspace. All right, so we're going to take that, and we are doing which word? We are doing remixed. Right, okay, so we're going to this one. Position, and then we will take the rotation, Z rotation. Yoink, take that into here. Now we're going to have the same problem here. It's going to be at an angle. So what was your initial rotation on this one? 3.8 degrees, so I'm going to go, or negative 3.8, so I'm going to go plus 3.8 degrees. Oops, and here I'll paste that. Now it should be nice and straight too. Okay, so you can obviously see there's a little bit of overlap in here, but we are going to fix that in a moment. Boom, like that. Okay, so last one we need is the word new. So let's turn that guy on. Let's go into element, turn you on, new. And so we're going to do the same thing. Position X, Y, connect you to this guy here. Boom, and we're going to take your uh, Z rotation. I had a momentary lapse in consciousness there. Boom, and now same thing with this one. New, what did you have on you? You had 2.6 degrees, eh? So we are going to have to, where is you? Yep, minus 2.6. All right, let's see what this looks like. Look at that, that is fantastic. Boom, okay, so now we can pretty much turn off all of these other layers. We don't need to see you guys anymore. All we need is our element layer. Boom, okay, so problems. These are overlapping a little bit and it would be really, really nice to get some extra space in here. And the easiest way to kind of fix this problem, well, the reason this problem is happening is because it's simulated based on like the, the text and not with this extra big puffy bevel put on it. So what I need to do is I need to make some sort of minor adjustments to the position of each of these words. And all I'm gonna change actually is the words remixed and new. So the easiest thing to do here um, is to just, there's this really cool feature in Element where here, if I'm on new, what I can do is I can go into the auxiliary channel and I'm just gonna give this channel one. Same thing on this one, I'm gonna give this channel one in group two. So. If I go into here now in my aux channels, this should be the word new, correct? So I'm gonna do remixed first. I'm gonna remove this one because it's gonna affect where the position is on this one. If I go into aux one, I can just subtly change the X, Y, and Z position of what's going on here. So I'm just going to move this up just slightly and I'm actually gonna push it back in Z just a tiny little bit so it looks like it's not overlapping the front of that bevel. So it's kind of just sitting there Let's give it something like that. Okay, so now if I do the same thing for this one, so this should be new. And I'm going to move you up a little bit, and I'm going to push it back in Z just a little bit too, something like that. So now if we preview that, boom, they don't bump into each other as much, and that's looking pretty great. So that's a pretty neat way of getting this stuff into Element 3D. And one of the other little things that I did, it would just to give it a little bit more dimensionality because this is a 2D sim, um, you can kind of scatter the text a little bit. So what I would do is right when this word levels hits the bottom here, boom. What I'm gonna do is that is on group three, I believe, right, if I remember properly, all right. Uh, then we are going to go into, I believe it's particle look. Let me just move my K bar out of the way here. And we are going to go into multi object and we are going to enable multi object. 
And then we are going to go into, where is the rotation in here? Yeah, rotation multi. So this will allow us to kind of scramble the letters up a little bit. So I want them all to be still here. And then when it bounces, I kind of want it to just rearrange those letters just a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of animate it like this. And then when it hits the ground again, I'll kind of bring it back a little bit. And then as it gets crushed here, we'll kind of just leave that as its last spot like that. So here, let's see how that looks. Yeah, this last one's probably a little bit much. Let's just go like that. Yeah, maybe it should just all be rotating the same direction. I have it kind of coming back here. But if we just do it even on that initial hit, that might be enough. And so we can do the same thing with all of these other words here too. Like maybe when Remix gets squished in here like that, we can um, scatter those letters just a little bit. So let's go into Particle Look, Multi-Object, Enable. And so here, let's go back a couple frames like right here. Oh yeah, let's squish it up like that. Maybe this way, let's go this way. And then maybe we can have it go even more, just a little bit. Something like that, let's see how that looks. There you go. Boom, something like that. So last thing we can do here, is just to give it a little bit more life, is we can try to put a camera in here and let's give it a really nice wide angle, like 20 mil lens. Let's move this guy out a little bit, something like that, and maybe have a look up at the text. There we go. And let's put a little bit of a camera move on here. So we'll start there and then we will push into this text towards the end. Let's see how that looks. There we go, larger than life. Simulated 3D text. <laughs> anyway, I really love this plugin. I can't wait to play with it some more in the future. And I hope this uh, helps anybody out there. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Thanks.